The next AAA adventure forthcoming from Ubisoft, Ghost Recon Breakpoint, looks very similar to other titles in the Tom Clancy world. However, after time with the game, I am here to tell you what it truly is. And what that is will shock you. Let's get into it. What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It is your boy MM2K back again with another one. Do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all. All of y'all. Straight up. And you know the deal. I am not too proud to ask. Here's the deal going on now. And you know how I like to break it down, baby, because we're going to talk about that ghost we call him Breakpoint. You know I like to chop it up into three parts. First, we do the checkup of the whole situation. I give you the current analysis. And then finally, we can drop the prescription, all right? So let's first start with the checkup. Ubisoft Tom Clancy games are some of the most proud and true gaming franchises ever. The military shooter has made a notable mark this generation with Rainbow Six, the Division games, and again, the Ghost Recon titles. However, the planned release of the new forthcoming Ghost Recon Breakpoint within the same year as the critically acclaimed Division 2 has gamers questioning if the brand is being run into the ground. Now for the analysis. I've personally had extensive time with the game, which is Ghost Recon Breakpoint, and I'm gonna put it up on the screen, even though this particular uh, video footage that I'm showing you really ain't doing the game that much justice, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let me let me, let me me take it back a little bit. Let me take it back a little bit so you can see some of this action, baby. With that being said, um, I've played several hours of it on PC. I was able to handle a good chunk of the game mechanics to provide an in-depth impression. Now, that we've gone through all that. You're now seeing the game on the screen, which again, still doesn't give you a full sense of the immersion and everything. But hold on, you know what? Let's just do this. Let me just drop the prescription. Let's get into that there. Here is the prescription for the question. It's Ghost Recon and Tom Clancy games being run into the ground. Well, first let me do this. Let me give you the positives. The game is very fluid. The level of immersion as far as the tactical sense needed to maneuver through the environment is amazing. It's, it's like a tactical sense like no other that I've ever experienced in a Tom Clancy open world or single player game, period. So next to whatever you would experience in a multiplayer experience like a Rainbow Six uh, Siege, I've never seen anything like this. What also helps provide that sense of, of, of tacticality or, or, or tactical need, I'm making up my own words here, is the sense of urgency given the via sheer intelligence of the AI. They flank you. They send drones after you, planes after you, helicopters looking for you. They send out search teams. I mean, and all this dynamic creates uh, a sense of urgency that is un, un, unrivaled in any Tom Clancy game or anything out there that in, in, in the single player world or in, in the games of a service world period as far as I'm concerned. This also adds to the consistent cat and mouse narrative, again, that I've also never seen in gaming up until this point. The weapon leveling system is super robust, all right? The challenge of dealing with multiple enemies at, at, at like service posts, at buildings and stuff like that, when you're trying to overtake an area, is severe. And I'm gonna tell you, unlike previous Tom Clancy games, just running and gunning or just waiting it out will not work. If you don't have a for sure plan on how to deal with each area and each area is different if you don't have a for sure plan you're gonna you're gonna be toast you're gonna get tore up from the floor up all right but those are my positives here are my negatives the mission tracking system is a little messy and confusing all right can't you know they try to add this overboard sense of realism and it just gets too clunky the also the character customization though plentiful in the demo and in the beta does not have levels to it so for those of you that are familiar with the Ghost Recon Wildlands game, 
you can upgrade your character by going to certain modules and, and activating those modules and then you can add level you can level up on particular modules that'll give you things like faster reload time or you know will reduce your 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 hit damage from bullets and stuff like that and then you can level those up to keep adding on to the to the level play loop of the game in the beta at the very least i didn't see that and that could lead to you maxing out your character a lot sooner than you anticipated but again this is the beta and they did make a lot of things easier to access because it was the beta they gave you a whole bunch of money to buy stuff which i know they're not gonna do in the in, in the game like you're gonna have to grind a little bit more and do a little bit more challenges before you get access to a lot of this stuff but with that said overall the game is highly impressive to your boy this is the best tom clancy game since rainbow six vegas and that's a tall order this is also the best and most revolutionary ubisoft shooter since far cry 3 and i'm gonna say this and i and it pains me to say this but i gotta tell y'all the truth i gotta tell y'all the truth once this drops the division 2 my friends is dead it's dead officially it's gone it's a, it's a never was and that's a tall order as well, because you know, up until this point, I was saying that the Division 2 was my was going to be my game of the year as things stood. But man, oh man, <laughs> what a difference a day makes. So therefore, of course, I consider this a must buy. And that's it from your boy MM2K. Once I get the full retail game in my hands, I will go through it thoroughly and give you my official review of the game. But man, this beta impressed the hell out of me and turned me around full 180 because if you remember, I said I had no faith in this game because I didn't understand what the purpose of it was, particularly dropping the same user division. But that purpose is very clear. I just wish that it maybe they pushed it uh, back a little bit so it wouldn't smother Division 2 because that's exactly what it's going to do. With that said, that's it from your boy MM2K. Let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below because like I always tell you, at the end of the day, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, you can check me on every, every, the corner of every boulevard that is to find me. Just check out the links below. Also, I do a show with your peoples, Dirk Griggity, Snow Bunny, Nethos, it's called Scram Punks. We do it every 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At Wednesday, that is, every Wednesday, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Dirk Griggity's channel. Just check out hashtag Scram Punks for more information on that. Also, check out my brethren, the broadband bullies out here doing the damn thing. Check out that Discord link where, where they cutting it up in there, man. Check out that link to that Patreon because we need your support, of course. And check out that link to that gear because it's what? It's fly. And as always, oh, I, almost, I keep forgetting this, man. I can't forget this, baby. The Hard Knock Digital Culture ran by your boy. Truly a phenomenal thing we got. We're setting up there. We're highlighting hardcore gaming and we got hardcore anime podcasts and hardcore martial art movie um, projects coming. So with that said, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Check out Hard Knock Digital Culture at hndc.live. Peace.